Mark was gonna kill me for touching that. What's up, Rock and Road Fools? First ever props rock and roll road tour. Things are gonna be crazy. This is Catfish. I just spit on the camera. It's the price you gotta pay when you got the ice. Day zero, we just waited it around the airport, Chicago style, waiting for everybody to get in. Some of the riders weren't able to make it, so we had to uh, substitute some riders. We've got a kick-ass lineup of guys that were filling in for riders that were either injured or unable to make it to the trip. We hung out at the airport for a while, and then we made our way up to Milwaukee. It is very, very cold. Any of the pe people out there know, they've heard rumors about Scotty, and Scotty is not human. Um, I just want to show you what Scotty shut down before the skate park demos even started. You see these blocks behind me? Scotty, in a collared shirt no less, hopped onto this one. This truck wasn't here. He hopped on there, and then he hopped onto this one, and then he hopped onto this one, and then he hopped onto this one, and then he gapped onto this one, and then he hopped onto this really narrow one, and then he hopped onto this one, and then he did an MFing tail whip off and pulled it. That's what we were working with. Scotty had been awake maybe a half an hour. No skate park demos, just curbs. Next time you guys are complaining about nothing to ride in your city, go to a parking lot with some curbs and you too can be like Scotty Kramer. This is day three. We're at uh, Ramp Riders in St. Louis. It's going to be good. I agree. He agrees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday we were at Scrap in uh, Chicago or Hoffman Estates. And uh, it was pretty good. We got shut down. Uh, cops didn't like the noise of the bands, but we got a couple of couple of bands in there. It was good. A lot of riding. I got hurt. What'd you see, Dominic? Uh, Nyquist doing everything over the box jump. This guy wouldn't believe it. Anything he wants. Scotty Kramer. I don't know what you want to call it. New kind of tech craziness. Double tail whip. Whatever you want to tail whip out to tail whip. If you want. I saw that. It's pretty crazy. RideBMX.com, Catfish here, props, Road Fools Day 4. We're headed to Nashville. Last night we shredded the complex known as Ramp Riders in St. Louis, Missouri. All kind of crazy stuff went down. We've got a bunch of the boys here. You can see Morgan sleeping. I'm going to pass the microphone around and get each one of these guys' opinions on what they thought of last night. And we're going to start out first with Mr. Adam Banton. Hey, can I, can I hold this? Yeah. Um, last night was real fun. The park was awesome. Last night was really fun. Uh, it's the first time I'd been there, and I was looking forward to it. I heard really good things. Uh, Music-wise, um, I think it was cool. Like uh, where the bands played, it was it was pretty much like a stage with a wedge in front of it, you know. And uh, everybody sounded good. Uh, me and Bruce played, and I think it was the most dialed time that we played that night um bragging. Bragging. i didn't mess up <laughs> bragging here we go we're recapping i'm good just word. saying hey <laughs> just <laughs> bruce was really good adam was saying bruce was really good bruce bruce sang a really cool song in uh spanish i think so morgan um after sleeping in for four hours how could you possibly sleep anymore more sleep all right, pass it back to. Uh, we'll, we'll just go right around. We'll, like, oh. we'll pass it over to the guy who's making fun of me. Um, my highlight from uh, last night was probably uh, I didn't see a whole lot of what was going down, but the locals just blasting and getting like inches away from the rafters every single time. Here's uh, here's Jay Clug. Uh, I don't know. Two things that stood out in my mind from the night were. Uh, Dominic ice grinding from the vert wall into the five foot quarter. It was like a 20 foot ice grind. And the other thing was Chris Doyle jumping from the hip into the mini ramp. And he also turned down it. That was pretty incredible to see. Shut up, Adam. <laughs> um, besides trying not to murder Adam this whole trip, it's been really good. Quiet. Just would you not you talk? It over. All right. So, anyways, anyways. I'm having a blast. Um, ramp rider session was unbelievable. We rode till like 2.30 in the morning, saw a bunch of amazing stuff, a bunch of really good locals and everybody was really cool. Got back to the room real late, crashed in here, woke up and it was raining and 
now we're going to Nashville. Stay tuned, lots more updates from the road. Hey, I'm Leland Thurman. And I, um, I am Reverend Lee Ramsdale. And, uh, <laughs> and some reason that's Bell Ryan Nyquist. I don't know who that was. Basically, we got up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and we just it's a uh, yard gnome. <laughs> we, we drove. We drove in the rain. In the rain for, for hours and depressing hours. Depressing day. And I was in uh, the white bus. I was in the black bus. Yeah. And uh, shades of gray. Not much happened in the white bus. We all pretty much slept and read magazines that Scotty Kramer provided. Rob at Sixth Avenue Skate Park in Nashville. Yeah. Sixth yeah. Avenue. You know, I mean, everybody made it through the night. I think yeah. Randall woke up a little bleary eyed. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna be able to do much intros today. And then now we're doing. We're just all doing our intros and. Um, Hanging out. All right, ridebmx.com, bmxonline.com, rock and roll road fools. This is Catfish, kind of sleepy. It's late. It's like 1:30 a.m. We've been chilling at Sixth Avenue Skate Park in Nashville, Kentucky. All kind of craziness went down. I got Scotty Kramer over here. I got Dominic Travato. What did you guys think about today? What stands out in your mind is some wildness that went down. Uh, today was awesome. It was it was so much fun. Like when we came here, I've seen this place from videos before, so I thought I was always excited to come here. Um, you know, a lot of wacky stuff went down. Morgan completely like he just did a lot of tricks today, which were really impressive. Um, but one that stands out in my head definitely would be uh, Dominic Travato doing an ice pick out of that quarter pipe right there. Yep, coming up, ice picking that thing right there. Yeah, it's pretty high up there, and uh, he he made it back in. You know, broke the bike twice, and he made it back in. Dominic, what uh, what was going through your mind doing this crazy ice pick? Um, I don't know. I just wanted to get back in and pull it. I didn't want to leave without not doing it, basically. What was going through your mind as both of your tires were touching transition as you so precariously came in from that ice pick? I was happy. Stay tuned. Lots more updates. Lots more fun. BMXonline.com. RideBMX.com. Lurk it! What the heck is that? <laughs> More on that later. We're in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's day seven. Basically, all we did today was we drove in. The, we got up. We drove in the rig from, uh, from Nashville. We uh, we arrived in Arkansas. And we split up in a couple groups and went street riding. And uh, I don't know. Had to Tony Hamlin in my group. He was uh, he was going off with a bunch of cool lines. You know, doing a bunch of little uh, whips, bar spins, bunny hops. Oh yeah. I, I fell on my back doing a feeble grind and then, then, then finally pulled it. And, uh, that's the second time on this trip you fell on your back on a feeble grind. Happens. What, what happened in your trip? What was some of the uh, stuff in your group? Not too much. Oh, uh, Scotty Kramer. Was it Scotty? I think Scotty Kramer uh, made a little wedge up to like a five foot tall wall, and the deck of the wall was this big. And so he wrote, and there was like a um, six foot drop to a really mellow grass bank on the other side that was really wet. And what he do? Oh yeah, he rode up, landed in a tail tap, and then front flipped onto the other side and pulled it like on his fourth try. That's hey, all that happened. Hey, and then we, uh, uh, Tobias, Scotty, everyone's favorite, myself, session this uh, sweet little trick rail. And now we're uh, loading back up and we're gonna get another probably five hour drive to uh, Joplin. Boom. RideBMX.com. It's the dude you love to hate, Catfish, chilling with yeah. Kevin Porter <laughs> and Tony Hamlin. We're at Autumn Ramp Park in Joplin, Missouri. Craziness went down today. We just wrapped up the demo. Kids here were psyched. I think this was the best stop yet. The kids were so excited. Going nuts in the mosh pit. There was like 13-year-old kids bleeding, kids knocking me down. <laughs> Nyquist and Morgan Wade was in the mix. Rotting wise, Morgan almost hit the ceiling on a double Superman tail whip. Nyquist went upside down in a flare, like in the ceiling too. Kevin Porter has a, uh, what kind of fabric is this? Velour. Velour. <laughs> Rocking out in the velour. Kevin velour. Porter, the kids out there love your style. Hopefully this isn't going to become a trend too. So we're going to wrap things up here at Joplin, Missouri. We have to drive all night long to go to Dallas to make it to tomorrow's stop in Eisenberg Skate Park. Should be a good time. I'm going to be sleeping. Kevin's going to be drinking coffee. This little man's going to be bouncing off the walls. Always. Thanks for all the food, uh, Autumn Skate Park. That ruled. Yeah, thanks for all the food, too. They rule. That's how we do it. Big time. Unit 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> RideBMX.com, BMXOnline.com, Catfish here, more updates from Road Fools Rock and Roll Tour. Uh, finished up our last stop tonight in Eisenberg Skate Park, Plano, Texas. Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. 
here with uh, Mr. Nyquist. Ryan, a lot of people out there were um, a little bit disappointed. They wanted to see you ride. What actually happened that caused you not to be able to ride today? Uh, kind of uh, injured my neck a little bit. Your neck? Yeah. How'd you do that? Uh, nothing serious, don't worry. It's okay, but uh, woke up one morning with a little kink in it, and it kind of got worse and worse, and it started getting better. And then I uh, went to the demo at uh, Joplin, of all places. Joplin, Missouri. Joplin, Missouri. And uh, got into a little moss pit with some eight-year-olds, and uh, the little bastards grabbed out of my neck and wrenched it around a little bit. And next thing you know, I'm not able to ride because I can't even look up for the transition. Nice. So you little kids in Joplin, Missouri, I think you. you're <laughs> so tough hurting Ryan Nyquist in the moss pit. The people in Plano, Texas suffered today. Well, as you can see, these guys are still riding, clocking some more footy. We keep everybody out. We got the park to ourselves for a little bit. Everybody getting in their last tricks before we uh, head to Austin, Texas. The infamous T1 ramp, revamped T1 ramp. Got a little barbecue action. I'm sure there'll be some cute girls there that I'll uh, do some magic tricks and try to get their phone number. I'm sure. sure. All right, ridebmx.com, bmxonline.com. You crazy internet BMXers. I don't even have to tell you where we are. You see the ramp behind me, Austin, Texas, the infamous T1 ramp. The last day of rock and roll road fools. This is the uh, final jam. We've had a nice little barbecue out here today. We're about to head out to uh, clubs, see some bands play. Not before we get the uh, Taj show and Nyquist show as well. All hell is breaking loose over here at this ramp. Can I say hell, Fat Tony? Um, we're doing closing interviews today, wrapping things up. My favorite German in the whole wide world. So all the kids at RideBMX.com all over the world are going to be checking in. What are your uh, final thoughts on the trip? Um, that trip was beep amazing. Yes, um, I like all the guys on the on the trip, so I had fun, and I hope you do. I had a blast. He destroyed it. Wait, wait till you see the video. You see what this man's capable of. My first time hanging out with him. Front brakes for life. Hi. Kids. Hi, Taj. Hi, Taj. The man, the myth, the legend, the owner, destroyer of this ramp right here, Taj. You know him. You know you love him. Taj, what's your uh, feelings on the, the trip? You're a musician and a rider, so you got to see both sides of the spectrum. It was real fun. Uh, I, I really enjoyed like you know take my band on the trip and just get to show them kind of like a whole different way of touring and kind of show my life. And they, they skate, so they had a blast like seeing all the stuff and. Uh, I was maybe a little let down that I, I got hurt and didn't really ride like at all. It's kind of like this dream, you know, to play music and ride, and I didn't really ride, but it was really fun playing. And it was a good trip. I know a lot of the, especially a lot of the riders that came out were really looking forward to hearing the Snake Trap play, that um, big fans of yours, they wanted to hear your band. Um, the response was really, really good from all the riders that I talked to. Where can the kids out there that want to learn more about the Snake Trap get some information on you guys? We're on a record label called Australian Cattle God. It's AustralianCattleGod.com. So or, or, you can probably link to it from I run MySpace too. You know, okay. The Snake Trap, yeah, the MySpace thing. So. Hey, what's up? Scotty Kramer here. Um, I'm doing an interview. Uh, with a catfish, turn the tables on them. Uh, doing it with Natalie and Morgan also. Um, we're going to talk about uh, tonight if you want to. So, uh, Morgan, uh, what's going on tonight, man? What are we doing here? Uh, catfish is <laughs> terrifying me with, with those things. <laughs> yeah, people are like, get that away from me. Sorry. But if you were riding the ramp, it's good. I'm tired. I stopped riding earlier. Natalie's been on board with us, and she's been shredding at every single stop. And you'll see her in the video. What's what's your take on the uh, seen the last couple stops? What do you think about the whole shebang? Um, I think the whole idea of having the bands play is really nice. Um, different musicians, different kind of music. All the guys getting along with the bands, and all the guys shredding all the spots. I've never really been around the guys other than the times at contests. So it's really cool seeing how they all ride. Just in a chill hangout session and it's really awesome. I think everybody, it's safe to say that everybody had a blast. This was an amazing trip and uh, we all can't look forward. We can't, we look forward to doing it again. We can't wait can't, to can't, or can't. We can't, we can't wait to do this again. <laughs> or we can't wait to look forward. We can't wait to look forward to do it. Whatever he says, <laughs> that, whatever that is. Stay tuned, we'll uh, keep you posted on all the goings on in the BMX world as well as Road Fools. BMX online, ridebmx.com. This is the end, the sad part. Uh, Road Fools is officially over, rock and roll tour. Thank you guys, all the interneters, 
checking out BMX online, ridebmx.com, um, checking the updates, seeing what's going on. Um, hopefully you were entertained. Wait till the video comes out. It is going to blow your mind.